Hi everyone. Today I want to show you how to use MapInfo Pro to create buffers around a table of symbols. As you can see, I have a sample workspace open that contains a table that has five stores. I'll show you how to create a five mile buffer around each individual store. To do this, we need to select the spatial tab and then buffer. And as we want to buffer each object in the table, we'll choose buffer table. This will then ask us the name of the tab file that contains the objects we want to create the buffers around. In my case, it's called stores. It will then ask where you want to store the results, i.e. the buffers that are created. Um, you can store this in an existing table. Um, in this case, I'm going to create a new table to store these buffers in. Then click next. Now it's going to ask us, do we want to add this new table to a new mapper window, a new browser window, or to add it to the current mapper window. As we want to show the radius around each store, we'll add this to the current mapper window. It's also asked us what table structure do we want to use for this uh, buffer table. I'm just going to use the existing table structure of stores. Then I can click create. I'll simply set the defaults to this as I don't want to make any major changes. Now it will prompt us where we want to store the table that contains the buffers. We also give it a name. I'm going to call mine buffers for stores. Now it's asking us details about the buffers themselves. So the first thing it needs to know is the radius value we want to use the buffers. Um, I'm create one for five miles. I'm going to select five. You've also got option here from column. So if you had the radius value in existing table, you can then select the table and the column that contains this radius value. It also asks you the unit of measure you wish to use. Uh, if you use the drop down list, it's got the standard unit of measures. Um, in this case, I'm going to use miles. Next question it asks is what smoothness we want for the actual buffer we're creating. So this would be the smoothness of the circle as it appears on screen. Obviously the greater number of segments, the smoother the circle will appear. Um, so I'm going to choose 30 in this example. Next we have to select is to want one buffer for all the objects or one buffer for each object. As I want to show a buffer for each individual store, I'm going to choose one buffer for each object and then click next. It's then asking us how we're going to work out the data aggregation. I'm simply going to select each value here and its corresponding value in the drop down list. So you select each of these in turn and select the corresponding value. Once you've done that, you can click OK. This has now created the buffers around the stores. Uh, we now need to change the pattern so we can see the stores and the buffer around them. To do this, you can go to the Spatial tab and then Style and then Region Style. And we select the pattern to None and click OK. And the last step we need to do is to unselect the buffers um, so we can see the buffer clearly around each object. To do this, we need to go to the Map tab and then Clear. And finally, you need to save the table. You can do this by going to Home and Save. And then Save Table. So that's how you create buffers around objects using MapInfo Pro.